Lisa, I am so excited to be with you today. We have such a fun day planned together and I just can't wait to get started. Do you notice anything right behind me? <gasps> That's right, it's a lemonade stand. And I am getting ready to set up my lemonade stand, but there's one thing that I need and I could use your help with. That is my lemonade recipe. Now it's super special and I'm making it from scratch. So I have to make sure the ingredients are just right before I start to sell my lemonade. All right, well do you think that you could help me? Awesome, let's get to it. So first for our lemonade, we need some lemons. Can you make your best sour face? Because lemons are really sour. Ready, go. Oh, those are silly faces. Now to create our lemonade, we need to squeeze the juice out of our lemons, just like this. Now can you go squeeze, squeeze. All right, we're just about there. Now today I'm just making a sample so that I can taste it and make sure that our recipe is perfect before we start selling it next week, okay? All right, I've got all of the juice from my lemon. I'm gonna pour it into my jar. And because lemons are so sour, we need something sweet to put in it to make it really, really yummy. Okay, so I have some sugar water and I'm gonna pour a couple spoonfuls of it. I like it really sweet, so I might put an extra little spoonful of sugar in my lemonade. Alrighty, and then the last thing we need is some water. So I've got my water right here. Let's pour it in. Oh, it's looking like lemonade. All right, now the last thing we need to do is stir. So get a big spoon, pretend like your spoon is in your hand and you're gonna go like this. Stir, stir, stir. Ready? On the count of three, we're gonna stir for five seconds. Ready, set, go. Stir, one, two, three, four, Five, awesome. All right, I think it's ready. I better taste it. I'm gonna take one of my colorful straws, put it in to my jar. Oh, it's delicious, so refreshing. Perfect, well thank you so much for helping me create my lemonade recipe. I can't wait to share it with others next week at my lemonade stand. All right, well did you know that just like how we just made some lemonade, somebody thought about you and created you. Who do you think that might be? That's right, God created you. He made you so special and he thought about every little detail about what you would be like, what you would look like, and your amazing personality. That is so, so awesome. God loves you that much that he spent a lot of time thinking about you and creating you. So today in our story, we're gonna hear just about that, how much God loves you and he made you so, so special. So why don't you stand up? We're gonna sing a couple songs together and then we'll hear our story from Ollie. Let's do it.
Follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Always got a Bible story for me and you. Wow. Oh, hi there, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. Just about to deliver these Get Well Soon cards to a kid named Jackson. His friends all wanted him to know he's special and that they love him. So they made him these cards. Aren't they cool? Oh, and how about this one? And what about this one? Hey, that actually reminds me of something very important you should know. 
in fact, let me tell you. I'll just put the story mail in the mailbox. Do you remember who made the whole earth? And all the animals? God, that's right. God made every piece of grass, every flamingo and bunny and giraffe. He put the sun in the sky and he made the mountains really tall. And it was good. Everything God made was good. But there was something he created that was more special than everything else. Do you know what it is? Take one finger and point at you. God made you. People are his most special creation. Look at the person next to you and say, you are special. Ready? One, two, three. You are special. And you are. God made you special. There is no one else like you. It's true. Let's play a game. Tell me when you see someone with a mustache. There he is. That guy has an awesome mustache. Great job. Let's try again. Tell me when you see someone with freckles. There she is. Look at all those beautiful freckles. Okay, one more. Do you see a kid with curly hair? Hmm. Oh, wow. There he is. That boy has awesome curly hair. God has made each and every one of us completely special. One of a kind. We all have different hair, skin, eye color. Some of us wear glasses. Some of us ride in wheelchairs. Some of us are really tall and some of us are small. God made us just the way we are. He made some of us amazing singers. He made some of us fast runners. Wow, that was fast. Some of us like to draw. Some of us like to play basketball. God made some of us to like science and some of us who love animals. We're all different, and we are completely, amazingly, and wonderfully made. The most super special thing God created. And do you know why he made you as his most special thing? Because he loves you so, 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 so much. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. That's right, friends. You are the most super special best thing that God has ever made, and that is amazing. So when I ask who loves you, I want your answer to be God loves me, okay? Tell me, who loves you? Awesome! That is the truth, friends. Now, we have a new memory verse this month that reminds us that nothing can separate us from God's love. He loves us all the time, no matter what. All right, it goes like this. Go ahead and stand up and let's learn it together. It goes, nothing at all can separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 39. Let's do it again. Nothing at all can separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 39. Awesome job, you guys. Well, let's pray together and then I hope you have an amazing week. Go ahead and bow your head, close your eyes and put your hands together. Dear Heavenly Father, I'm so glad that God always loves us no matter what. Help us to remember that 
even when we're not having a good day or maybe we get in trouble, that God always loves us and nothing can separate us from that. We love you so much. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Awesome. Well, I hope you have a great week with your family. I have one question that I want you and your mom or dad to talk about today. It is, what makes you so special? What did God create about you that is so special? Okay? And then if you want, you can talk about things that God created special about your brother or your sister or your mom or your dad. That would be a great conversation to have today. So I want to hear, what did God create special about you? I know there's lots of things. Well, have a great week. And next week is Mother's Day. How amazing. So I want you to be thinking of special ways that you can celebrate your mom this week. And I have a super top secret mission for you, okay? So I'm gonna be sending that to dad or to mom so that you can be working on that this week to surprise mom with it, okay? Well, I hope you have a great week. See you next week, bye.